Hi everyone, um, it's Tuesday morning at about 8.30 Island Time, 7.30 Central Time. It's Wind Salt Haney. I'm just uh, doing a video update. Um, so, yeah, and once again in the pictures worth a thousand words department, this is the current situation via the tracker. And what we're going to highlight this group of boats right here, and zoom in a little bit more even. Um, I am down at the race committee tent, that might be some of the talking you hear in the background, but there is uh, uh, just a regular armada of boats out in the straits um, and between th particularly between the bridge and the island and I gotta tell you from what I'm seeing right now like 0 0.8 0 0.9 knots is generous um, it's a uh, it looks like a mirror out there I, I mean I, I know let's not be too dramatic there's little patches of wind and boats are uh, have all their weight to leeward and just kind of like putting some heel on and just crawling along but it's taking hours for boats to get from the uh, from the bridge to the um, to the island, it, it, I, I don't think there's any way that Karma's really going 2.2 knots, for instance. Um, uh, perhaps, perhaps a little bit farther out where I can't see it, there's more wind, but it is quite, quite, quite smooth, and um, it's taking these boats several hours to get from the bridge to the finish. So um, we then have you know sort of sporadic boats through the through the straits between Gray's Reef and the bridge. Um, they're showing two knots ish of boat speed. Um, they'll, um, you know, they appear to be, oh, someone just finished behind me there. They've heard that. Um, uh, they, the, you know, they appear to be slowly working their way up too. The thing is, holy cow, we got a lot of boats sitting back here, you know, just not even under Gray's Reef yet. Um, they're going two or three knots also. They have about 30 miles to finish somewhere in that range. So they're still 10 hours out and, and we are starting to get, uh, calls for DNFs with a little bit more regularity here. So, um. Be sure to keep a, uh, uh, an, an eye to the website for that. Um, speaking of the website and results, just really quick, let me look at a couple things together. So first, this is by section. So we haven't had a 36.7 finish yet. About half of the 40.7s have finished. Cruising 1's uh, pretty much all done. There's a couple left. Cruising 2's about halfway done. Only one boat finished in double-handed. Uh, no one yet in the J105. Uh, only a few J109s, all the J1, well, most of the J111s, none of the level 35s, and you can sort of see the rest of it here. I mean, that, uh, you know, the most sort of through section three and the um, ORR sections, most of the boats have finished. Section four, we haven't seen a lot of boats yet. Section five, none. Section six, none. Section seven, none. And section eight, none. Uh, T10s, none. So, um, I just want to see that I think last time I checked there's something like a hundred boats sort of accounted for right now which means we probably got somewhere around 200 still out on the course hang on so if we go to the race results and we go um, results by division that should work so let's see if this gives us this gives me an idea of how many we've seen so far in each division so uh, we've had about a hundred so far um, and I believe if we look at the bridge call-in page, we'll see. Um, I'll give you an idea of what we just saw on the tracker. Here's the call-ins page. So we've got 35 boats right now. This list right here, 35 boats between the bridge uh, and the finish. And the uh, one that's been there longest is the Jabberwock, and they've been in for three hours so far, um, which is actually a lot better than what we've seen at some points here. And then here's the finish time boats with, I believe, a count of them. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, we got, so we got 104 finished. We've got 37 between the bridge and the island. So that's uh, 141. You know, let's call it another 10 or 20 withdrawals, 160. So we're roughly halfway through here. Um, and it's, as I said, 8.30 in the morning island time on Tuesday. So we have a long way to go. Last thing to cover, weather forecast today. I wish it was better. It gets better later in the day. But here's where we are right now. There's not quite that much breeze right here. And... Um, it looks to me like it's very light out of the north. Uh, continues light for, yeah, I expect it to look a lot like yesterday morning where it's light for a couple hours and we have sort of a thermally looking thing fill in. Um, wind stays light, less than six knots. Then it dies a little bit around 11 o'clock. Really dies around noon. Gosh, I hope this doesn't happen for real. Uh, starts to fill back in from the south, kind of. Um, <laughs> around one, it's kind of hard to tell. There's so much going on there. And two, and then the gradient wind from a big high pressure system, which is down here, just off the bottom edge of the screen right here. This is the synoptic high pressure system. Finally, finally, finally starts to take hold. So 
See this wind building back here and starting uh, on the west side of the lake and starting to leak towards us. And more and more. Start to get even a little channeling through the straits. I'm now at 7 o'clock tonight. And I mean, we, we should... God, we ought to be done by 7 o'clock tonight. Um, uh, you know, 10 to 12 knots of breeze. This angle, this much distance left. I, I think everyone should be in good shape by then. So we've got a light wind patch during the middle of the day. Uh, we've got breeze building after that. Um, it, you know, when everyone finishes depends on how much that light breeze patch actually happens or doesn't happen. So... That's the race situation. I wish I could talk tactics and strategy here with the tracker. Uh, there's really not a lot to it except to find patches of wind and to stay in those patches of wind. It's not like big left-right separation of tactics. Um, you got to watch out for the ferries here and the wake from the ferries as they start uh, coming across from St. Ignace and from Max City. But other than that, it's, it's, it's a matter of the crews who are the freshest after three days of doing this, just grinding it out even a little bit longer. Uh, thanks a lot. I'll be watching Facebook, and thanks for all your comments and questions. Bye.